Good day everyone! Luckily, we can now file our income tax returns even without physically going to the Revenue District Office with the help of the EBIR Forms app, which are available for download from the BIR website. In this video, we will share with you the step-by-step -step process on how to file your income tax return using the EBIR Forms app. First, open your EBIR Forms app to proceed to the homepage. Make sure that you have downloaded the latest version of the EBIR Forms package to make sure that you are using the latest form versions which are available at bir.gov.ph. Enter your tax identification number in the corresponding boxes and select your appropriate RDO code. Provide also the details on your line of business. Complete name, registered address, zip code, telephone number, and email address where you wish to receive your confirmation details. Once the details were completed, click the drop-down button to show the list of EBIR forms, and choose BIR Form 17V 2018 Annual Income Tax Return New. Click Fill Up, a pop-up window saying that the background information has been saved and updated accordingly would appear and just click OK. The BIR Form 1701 or the Annual Income Tax Return for Individuals, including Mixed Income Earners, Estates, and Trusts would appear. For Item Number 1, make sure that the year corresponds to the year which you're filing your income tax return. Do not modify Items 2 and 3 unless applicable in your case. For Items Number 4 and 5, the details are auto-populated based on the information you have from the homepage. For item number 6, select your appropriate taxpayer type. Just choose the type which is applicable. For item number 7, select the appropriate alphanumeric tax code or ATC. Your choice here would depend on the taxpayer type that you selected on item number 6. For item number 10, enter your date of birth following the prescribed format. For item number 12, enter your citizenship. For item number 13, select no unless you are claiming for foreign tax credits. For item number 16, select your appropriate civil status. For item number 19 and 20, choose no unless these are applicable to you. Item number 21 would be automatically selected based on the ATC that you have selected earlier on item number 7. Since graduated IT rates have been selected, that option was automatically selected here. For item number 21A, select the method of deduction of your choice. We are going to skip part 2 or the tax payable section for now, since this would be automatically populated later after we have completed the rest of the section in this form. Scroll down then click next to go to page 2 of the form. Proceed to Part 5 or the Computation of Tax section and go to Schedule 3 or your Taxable Business Income which is applicable to sole proprietor. In here, you will enter the details from your sales receipts obtained throughout the whole taxable year. Section 3A is applicable for graduated income tax rates. For Item number 8, enter your total sales revenue, receipts, or fees for the whole taxable year. It is important to keep in mind that the decimals or centavos don't apply here, so you have to either drop down or round up. For item number 9, enter your sales return, allowances, and discounts. You may leave this blank if this doesn't apply to you. For item number 11, enter your cost of sales or services. For item number 13, click from Part 5, Schedule 4, Item 18, to proceed to your schedule of ordinary deductions claim during the taxable year. Then scroll down and click next to go to page 4. Here's the fourth and last page of the form. Go straight to part 7 or your tax credit payments. Here, you will enter the details coming from your BIR Form 1701Q and BIR Form 2307. For item number 1, enter your prior year's excess credits if applicable. For item number 2, Enter your total tax payments for the first, second, and third quarters of the taxable year using BIR Form 1701Q. For item number 3, 
enter your total creditable tax withheld for the first three quarters of the taxable year. This is the total amount taken from your BIR Forms 2307 from January to September. For item number 4, enter your total creditable tax withheld for the fourth quarter of the taxable year. This is the total amount taken from your BIR Form 2307 from October to December. Now we have completely filled out the form. Scroll down and click Previous button to come back to page 1. Upon going back to page 1, you would notice that Part 2 or your Total Tax Payable section is now updated with figures computed based on the amount that you have entered on the different sections of the form earlier. In order to know the total tax amount that you are required to pay, check the amount in item number 32. Scroll down and click Validate to see if you have completely filled out the form. This would tell you if there's a field that you have missed. If you're able to completely fill out the form, you would see this pop-out window, confirming that the form has been successfully validated. Click OK. We're now ready to submit the form. But before you do that, you have the option to save and print the form. Once you're good, click the Submit Final Copy button. This pop-out window will appear just to remind you to ensure that you have a stable internet connection and a valid email address indicated in the form you are submitting. Click OK. The EBR Forms Terms of Service Agreement window will then appear. And click OK. The form will submit and it may take several seconds depending on the connection speed and traffic. Once it has been successfully submitted, this pop-up window would then appear. It's best that you save a screenshot of this page to serve as a proof that you have successfully submitted a form just in case you have failed to receive the email confirmation from the BIR. Once done, click OK.